Hi everyone, in this quick video I'm going to use Desmos to uh, demonstrate how to do a little bit of mathematical modeling. So I'll open up a web browser and search Desmos. Desmos is a free graphing uh, software that runs in a browser. So um, start graphing and this is uh, what we normally get to look at. We've got places to do input over here on the left and we've got a Cartesian uh, coordinate system over here to display things. Now I will, um, I could go to the plus sign here and add a table and then fill in the, the details manually or if I already have my table of data stored somewhere, which I might, then I can cut and paste and so there's my table of values, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for x and the y values uh, 3, 5.1 tend to increase and then decrease again. You can see these points have been plotted for me straight away over here on the graph. Uh, I might just make that slightly larger so we can see them a bit easier. There they are. That's nice. And it certainly looks like it could be a parabola. So I'll do my first attempt at modelling this with a quadratic equation. This is where I need to add an expression to my work. Here I come, and I'll be referring to these variables x1 and y1 by just typing y1 and then a tilde sign instead of an equals, and I'll put a multiplied by, a is a free parameter, x1 minus h, close the brackets, to the power of 2, so I'll use the caret symbol, shift 6, uh, right arrow there, plus k. Now, a, H and K are free parameters. Desmos understands that. It recognises Y1 and X1 as these variables. And you can see that Desmos has done a regression calculation, a least squares fit. It has given me a coefficient of determination 0.998, which is very, very good, almost perfect. Uh, the values of the parameters are listed here. Remember, H and K represent the coordinates of the turning point for the model for the actual parabola curve, not the green dot. The green dot is at 3.6, as we can see in the table here, and the turning point of the, the best fit model is 2.99 and 5.94. If I want to, I can press this button here to plot the residual values. Remember, a residual is the, the y value of the data point minus the corresponding uh, y value predicted by the model. By the equation, the quadratic in this case. So the residuals are all very small, some positive, some negative. They've been plotted down here as these blue dots. They seem to be uh, close to zero, good, and they seem to be uh, randomly distributed amongst the positives and the negatives, also good. That's literally representing how far above or below the model, the parabola, each of these green dots, the data points, lies. That's what the residuals do. And that's how you use Desmos to do this. Uh, I could, of course, if I wanted to, I didn't have to type this in turning point form. I just chose to. If I wanted to, I could, for instance, uh, let's have an expression, and I could go uh, y1 tilde sign. Uh, let's go standard form. a times x1 squared plus b times x1 plus c. So I've gone standard form this time. Now of course it's still a quadratic, of course I get exactly the same model and I've still got the same coefficient of determination. The value of a is the same because the value of a is common to both of these models but the b and the c value, uh, they're different of course because b and c are not the same as h and k although they are related of course. So this is just an alternative way of achieving exactly the same result in Desmos. I think that's okay for now, that should get you started. Of course you don't have to use quadratics, you could use any function you like, a higher order polynomial or anything else that Desmos is capable of.